friends, I'm starting a column about fishing equipment. Each individual video will focus on a specific fisherman attribute. Lines, hooks, sinkers, floats, reels, rods and much more. An overview of their purpose, types, and characteristics will be given. I hope that the video will be useful and interesting for you. Subscribe to the channel so as not to miss a good video for good people. Leave comments, I will be glad to discuss. Today we'll talk about fishing line. We'll conduct an experiment to check whether the strength of the line is specified by the manufacturer and the degree of loss of strength of the line at the knot. The variety of fishing lines offered in fishing stores can confuse any angler how to make the right choice. Otherwise, you can simply forget about effective fishing and the final result. It should be remembered that different fishing gear and methods require the use of fishing line with certain characteristics. For example, when fishing with a spinning rod, one is used, but for bottom fishing, a completely different one is suitable. Even when catching different fish with the same tackle, the requirements for the fishing line are different. Fishing lines can be monofilament, multifilament, braided. In the first case, the fishing line is made of polyamide or nylon. Thanks to the material, the fishing line is elastic, soft, and fits freely into the reel. It is very good for long casts, as it creates minimal friction when removing the rings from the reel spool and in the rod guides. Depending on the weather conditions of use, there is a winter fishing line that does not lose its elasticity and strength at low temperatures. A fishing line made from a combination of several types of polyamide is called copolymer. It is characterized by increased strength, comparable to braided cord, but has increased rigidity and abrasion resistance. Excellent for fishing in the current, on reservoirs with a rocky bottom and shell rock. Recently, another type of fishing line has appeared on the market, high polymer. They are manufactured using high-tech processes, which gives them some specific properties. For example, sinking line, line with UV-resistant coating. Multifilament fishing line quickly found its place on the market. True, the now familiar expression, braid, does not always correspond to the name. Not every model is like this. There are only to such varieties, the classic braid, consisting of mainly four and eight strands woven together by flagella, and the sheathed braid. For the most part, all types of braided fishing line are distinguished by high strength, low, almost zero, elasticity and pronounced softness. Braid without a shell is subject to abrasion on stones and shell rock, and is easily cut by the sharp teeth of predatory fish. You need to tie such a fishing line using a leash. When purchasing a thread, you need to be able to navigate the names and classifications. The inscription, shore, means that it is suitable for coastal sea fishing. In turn, it is divided into sea bass, universal braids for all types of hunting, surf, trill braids suitable only for fishing on a smooth sandy bottom, characterized by protection against abrasion and suitable for long casts, e.g. I, sinking threads for fishing in rocky and smooth areas, shore jigging, color-coded lines for long casts that provide information about the flight range, rock fish game, resistant to abrasion, designed for fishing on rocky areas. The inscription, offshore jigging, indicates that the fishing thread is suitable for vertical fishing from sea transport. These cords include, light jigging, durable colored cord, bass, designed for catching perch, bass, that is, large fish with large baits, trout, intended for trout fishing, and is classified into the following subspecies. Area, thin braided line for active river trout, big trout and salmon, designed for catching salmon in the current. Its properties are elastic and invisible in the water. Now about the characteristics. One of the first parameters that a fisherman looks at is the diameter of the fishing line. How to independently determine the diameter of fishing line or braid. The link will be at the end of the video. It is believed that it determines the breaking load, elasticity and softness of the product. In addition, selecting the optimal thickness is one of the ways to revitalize the bait, giving it a more natural play in the current, or by jerking the rod. The diameter of the fishing line also affects the casting distance. The thicker the line, the shorter the casting distance. However, you need to understand that at the moment of casting the line, due to the weight of the bait, experiences large dynamic overloads and is capable of breaking. Then fishermen use a shock leader. Three four meters of thicker fishing line are tied between the weight and the main line, a shock leader. The fisherman pays no less attention to the breaking load. However, you should be aware that the figures stated on the packaging are always overestimated. When choosing a fishing line based on its breaking load, you should pay attention to the strength of the fishing line in the knots, since the presence of a knot in any tackle significantly weakens it. However, 
There is also a positive side to this, since when caught, the line will break in the intended place. Let's conduct two experiments, the first to check the compliance of the breaking load specified by the manufacturer, and the actual strength of the fishing line. Second experiment, percentage reduction in fishing line strength at a knot. The moment of line breaking is 1.22 g. With the breaking load declared by the manufacturer being 1.35 kg, the line broke at 1.22 g. The failure did not occur on the node. Let's check the strength of this fishing line at the knot. Line breaking moment 0.65 kg with a stated weight of 1.35 kg and actual breaking load of 1.2 kg. The strength dropped by half due to the knot. The check showed that the rupture occurred at the node. The elasticity of the fishing line shows its ability to stretch. This parameter is especially important for spinning players who prefer braided line with minimal stretch. The braided line transfers even the most careful bite into the fisherman's hand. A low stretch line is convenient for fishing from the bottom of a reservoir, as it helps to feel the bottom topography. With its help, pike and pike perch are caught well. This fish has a hard mouth, which is easier to pierce with a hook when hooking if the fishing line has low stretch. However, to catch perch, chub or eye, you will need a softer line so that when hooking you do not tear the fish's mouth. Fans of long casting always pay attention to the softness of the fishing line. In these models, there is practically no such side effect as memory. This is the name given to the ability of the fishing line to maintain a spiral shape, which greatly shortens the length of casts. Recently, modern fishermen have begun to pay increased attention to coloration. This is especially true for spinners. Moreover, the expression, camouflage coloring, for spinning rods is considered irrelevant. On the contrary, today's market is overflowing with bright and even luminescent fishing lines. They significantly help the spinner to clearly register the most delicate bite for bottom fishing. Camouflage coloring of fishing line is relevant. A fishing line with a color corresponding to the color background of the bottom of the reservoir is selected. It is believed that fluorocarbon fishing line, in addition to increased resistance to abrasion, is invisible in water. The wear resistance of the fishing line is also considered an equally important element in the characteristics of the fishing line. The same spinning players pay special attention to it. After all, their fishing line is constantly exposed to mechanical stress, be it moving along the bottom, contact with the side of the spool, roller, line layer, underwater obstacles, etc. It has already been said above that braided line is weakly resistant to abrasion, while fluorocarbon line has increased resistance. That's all for today. The next video from this section is about fishing hooks. Friends, subscribe to the channel. Let good people watch a good video.